Unmute. All right, we'll start off this post-game media availability with Chelsea Gray. We'll go um, first to uh, Megan Price, Sideline Sports. Hi, Chelsea, congrats on the W. Thank you. Big night and assist for you. One that sticks out is the dime to Brianna with two minutes left in the second. Can you tell me what was going through your mind at that moment? It was almost a half court pass. Um, I saw her a little bit early that uh, she was posting up a smaller guard. Um, and so I just needed to get it in a good spot so I didn't turn the ball over or um, there wasn't any help side and she would be able to go up and finish. And uh, so I know she can go get the ball and, and go get us a bucket. Awesome. Great court vision. Thank you. Next, we're going to find a Franklin. Sorry. I can't speak anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. When you hear 50, 53 straight Olympic wins, what does that mean to you? Legacy, um, a standard that USA Basketball has set. Um, it's a lot of great people that's come through this program. Um, some that's still playing, you know. Um, so definitely a legacy, a standard, like I said, and achieving excellence, you know, is the level we have to play at and good people. What does it mean to you to get to the semifinals after all the criticism that y'all face with getting to the Olympics? Um, block that out, you know, <laughs> it's one and done. It's kind of a live or die situation. And we knew we were going to come to play today. And um, so we'll enjoy this win, but get ready for the next one. And just keep playing our game and playing free. Doug Feinberg, you're next. Hey, Chelsea, uh, there's another assist you had, I think, in the third quarter, wherever it was, you drove the lane and dished it off, I don't mean, around a player, I don't even know how you got it there. Just as a point guard, does the game slow down, you can just see things that are there before they happen, so to speak? Yeah, there's different reads and things that I that I see or I heard a switch or something that I just pick up on. I have no idea like where it came from natural <laughs> ability. I was blessed with it, uh, seeing some things that are ahead of time. It also comes with experience and playing, uh, playing the game. But today we were just, you know, going off of each other, moving well and right place, right time. Thank you. Um, we'll go to Cheryl Coward with Hoop Feed next. Hi, Chelsea. Um, everyone knows, of course, the U.S. has uh, a lot of size, depth, and talent. Um, and throughout this the tournament, the Olympics so far, we've seen uh, glimpses of all of that working together. But today it seemed like it was kind of like the first time where it showed uh, the team is really, uh, I don't kind of uh, keyed into to the, you know, that you're going to be in possibly in the gold medal uh, uh, game. Um, do you feel like the, the synergy was the better today than it has been in previous games? It seemed like the team was just really working together really well. Yeah, I think you were, you see improvements each, each game. We're able to get practice time, we're able to prepare and then go on to the next game. And so it's kind of a laser focus on each game is important. Um, we don't look, want to look too far ahead and not too much in the past, but just stay in the moment and stay present and do what we have to do to win that game. And the rest will take care of, it, will take care of itself. Um, so that's kind of been our mindset. And to briefly follow up, you mentioned laser focus. Your passes are, are laser focused. Do you feel <laughs> like uh, your other teammates are always ready to, to catch those amaz amazing passes? I mean, you, there was that one that was uh, missed under the basket, but it was, it was a beautiful pass. Uh, yeah, I think my teammates know that a pass may be coming at any moment, and so they're ready for it, and it's just a matter of me executing the play at the right time and then finishing the bucket or getting fouled. Um, so it's a give and take. Thanks. Good luck in the court, in the semifinals. Thank you. And we'll, uh, Rafiq Wilson, you're next. Congratulations on the win, Chelsea Gray. Thank you. I just want to ask you, like, this game was literally old before it got started. And one of the main reasons is you capitalized a lot on the ball movement. How effective was the ball movement in today's win compared to earlier games during the Olympics? 
I think we were just playing off each other super well. Like the ball was hitting the elbows. It was going side to side, people setting good screens. You know, you can see the chemistry and camaraderie just flowing, um, especially just right off the tip off. And that's going to be important down these stretches. Um, that was one of our like best starts that we've had. If it probably was the best start that we've had um, since we've been playing here. And it was just a different feel. Of course, it's live or die <laughs> right now. Um, but it was just everybody playing off, playing off of each other. And Brittany Griner led the team with a game high 23 points. How effective was that for your team in the victory? She's a force in the paint when um, she's going to work. And so people have to pay attention to her. And at the same time, if they're not, we're, we're going to feed her the ball. And um, nine times out of 10, we're like, it's going to be a bucket or something good is going to come out of it. And it allowed for the defense to suck in at some points and she would kick it out and then we would go to something else or we would repost. And so when you have that target down there, you got to get her the ball. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we'll close out this media availability. We're going to throw it back to Deb Feinberg. Chelsea, I think you were on the squad that played Serbia in the qualifier last year. Just what do you remember them and what are your thoughts going into the game in the semis? Um, very versatile. You know, you'll have one player that's bringing down the ball. They'll be sending a pin down or they'll be receiving the pin down. Um, very versatile with their with their four players and three players. Uh, as they said, good screens play off of each other. They play hard. And um, so that's a, that's kind of what I remember names. And we had Davovich, you know, Sonia. So the people that's been there for a long period of time. Um, so I know they're going to, they're going to work and uh, we have to be ready for that. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you everyone for joining us today. We will see you. Thank again. you.